slice of sci-fi.com. Hi, I'm Joe Maloney here with Slice News, and I'm at Hypno Comics. And we're here at the signing of Elf Quest. been a reader since I was like 13 oh. um, on the way home from school. So that was last year. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Time is being between. Um, but I would drive from school and we'd stop at a comic book stop until my mom could pick us up. And your comics were the things that I read. This this lovely lady, what's your name? Alexandra. Thank Alexandra you. made. <laughs> Alexandra, <laughs> Alexandra made a little plush chibi cutter. <laughs> You know, at first when she walked up, I could only see like the top here, and I thought, oh, she made cookies. <laughs> and he has he has a little top knot. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his little vest and his little armband and feathers, and his Bill little is the most breech. insanely, awesomely, wonderful, cutest <laughs> Thank you. thing I have seen. In in that's just insane. I got uh, th That's. <laughs> Within 15 minutes, that's up on Facebook. Yeah, but we gotta okay. keep we gotta keep Wolfie away from that because <laughs> yeah. Wolfie would yeah he would Find Wolfie Wolfie would idea. make short shrift. <laughs> and just so you know, Cutter and Strongbow are my favorite. They're my first elf crushes. It was like a well, and they're they're completely elf different. Elf crushes. Yes, elf. You haven't heard the term elf crush. I've heard lots of other fill in the blank <laughs> crush, but I guess this is my first. Yes, elf crushes. There's a little crush for everything, right? Well, they're completely different physical types, so yeah, I, I, are. I appreciate that you have yeah. wide tastes. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think I was like 13, I saw it in the grocery store as a kid, and I was like, what is this? I had to, get, I had to ask my mom to buy it for me, so I was like, buy me this book, please. And I was like hooked, and I was like, there's comic books to this? So I had to go down the street. So you, got, you, you got the pros first. Mm -hmm. Excellent. From the novel, I actually found the warp graphics at uh, the local comic book shop, so that way after that I was able to, oh, I like this, this is really cool. Never got a chance to send in for any of the stuff that was in the back, you know, I was like, oh. Uh, it was a little late by that time, but. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, Dark Horse is going to have goodies, so, oh, so yeah. you'll we're have gonna a chance. We're going to have stuff. Yeah, we're going to have stuff. Yeah. Dark Horse no, it's not you. stuff, it's swag, swag. isn't it? Swag. That's the technical term. Swag. Swag. Well, I appreciate everything so much, and I'm glad that you're still continuing to write stories and illustrate them as well. I gotta tell you, I love being able to go on the ElfQuest webpage and go and look at the comic books for references for the images. Because you know, since I'm drawing, I want this to sure. resemble your artwork. It will never be your artwork, but it can be slightly have a feeling of it. Well, now, do you take the time also to draw from life? Oh yes. yes. Good. Yes. Good, because you know anybody who who tells me they learned how to draw from my work. I always say, okay, then start over again. <laughs> yeah, the anatomy is a little different. <laughs> because you got to know the rules before you break them. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Absolutely. you know, and, and, and so I'm so glad to hear that you're drawing from life. She, she learned a lot as she was growing up from other artists, mm -hmm. but she had also just drawn and drawn and drawn trees and horses and dogs and people every day to learn the rules before she put on her own style. Absolutely, because if you don't, you don't have fundamentals and the, the basics. No, no, yeah. and you can't turn a character uh, 360. And sometimes I really it's wish I could, because you can't see the back of the outfit. Sure you do, I do them from all angles. Yeah, I just gotta find it. <laughs> <laughs> Life's tough when I you're know, an artist. I know. And how old is your daughter? Um, I have a 14 and a 13 year old. And they're both, you saw them, they're both they're kind of getting into it still. It's not mm -hmm. quite their thing. It's, it's one of the best. anime, but yeah. still. It's like I could tell them, and they've asked to read these. Oh, know? yeah. And it's you one can of our favorite yeah. things yeah. when a parent says, I want to share this with my kids. Yeah. Because you are taking the lead and you're taking the responsibility to, you know what they can take and what they can't. Right. And so you'll guide them. And that's wonderful. We love that. And if they like anime, you can tell them that ElfQuest was the first anime-influenced comic in America. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, back in 1970. Yeah. So you have influenced how I draw. I mean, I'm not an old 
do comic books or anything, but you've influenced my style by following your style. Mm. It's beautiful and strong, but soft, and I love it so oh, much. Oh, well, thank you so much. And, and do you have your own characters that um, you've created? I haven't really. I mean, I've done a couple of, like, self-elves and things, but they're not as near and dear to my heart as your elves. Oh. <laughs> SliceofSciFi.com